To determine the number of signals in a mass spectrum, you only need to consider the different chemical shifts of the hydrogens in the molecule. The chemical shift is inversely proportional to the distance between the hydrogen and the electronegative elements. More simply put, hydrogens that are closer to any electronegative elements are more chemically shifted to the left. Let's do three quick examples, starting with butane. Even though butane consists of four carbon atoms with surrounding hydrogen atoms, there are only two different chemically environments here, as far as the hydrogens are concerned. Therefore, we will only have two distinct NMR signals. The first signal comes from the two groups here on either side of the molecule, and the other signal comes from the two groups in the middle. In addition, we can note that the middle groups will be more chemically shifted compared to the groups on the side, as they are close to more electronegative elements in the form of other carbon atoms. Let's take a look at propanol next. First thing to note is that the hydrogen in the alcohol group can be sneaky, as its location can vary by a lot, and in some cases it won't even show up at all. So for that reason, let's exclude it for this example. For the other hydrogen groups, we can note that they will be slightly different based on their distance to the alcohol group, which is the most electronegative element in this example. Group A is the furthest away and will therefore be the least chemically shifted, followed by group B in the middle and finally group C, which is the closest to the alcohol group and therefore the most chemically shifted. In other words, there will be three different NMR signals in this example, given that we exclude the hydrogen in the alcohol group. Finally, let's look at something slightly more challenging, like benzene. What we quickly notice is that I just tricked you, since this is the easiest one so far. Because every single hydrogen share an identical chemical environment because of the symmetry of the molecule, and for that reason, the spectrum will only have one big signal to indicate benzene. If you would like to understand anything else about NMR better, click the playlist which is shown on the screen now.